Hey guys, welcome game back today. Bring our video, and today's a pretty special video. It is a really good duo win here. We had 20 kill duo win here on Caldera, as well as the return of Moo Man. So Moo Man, if you've been following the channel for a while, my original duo partner here in Call of Duty Warzone from a lot of my earlier videos, finally made his return back to Warzone, and we had a really good duo win here. He ended up dropping more kills than me, and he had a really, really good game. So this is a really awesome game here. Show my loadout, show his loadout, and then we'll jump right in and I'll walk you through this insane duo win with a really tight finish. So let's go ahead, back out. The weapon I'm going to be running with here, first off, I have my Odin build, mainly for medium to long range engagements. So I'm running the Colossal Suppressor. Again, this is going to give a sound suppression, damage range, recoil control. Going to increase our range significantly and help out with that recoil. You can see the pros and cons there. We're going to run, this is basically the meta Odin build. We're in the Odin factory. This is the longest barrel available, the 810 millimeter. Again, going to help with damage at range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. Then I'll go with the VLK 3.0, 30 round magazine, and the Merc 4 group. Just because this is personal preference, I always felt this gave me the best recoil control. Again, just from a lot of experience, this is a heavy caliber weapon, 12.7, um, 555. So that Merc 4 group seems to assist with a lot of the recoil, more so than the Ranger for me personally. And then for the reticle, Gonna run that T-pose just for a clearer precision sight picture when engaging targets. Now for my secondary, I'm running my AK-74M build. This is gonna be heavily inspired by what Kaz used to use as well as Dill. We have the monolithic suppressor, Spetsnaz Elite Barrel for damage at range and bullet velocity. Gonna have a tack laser on there for increased ADS speed. No optic, no stock, and I'm going to run the 30 round magazine of the 545 by 39 millimeter for the fire rate and recoil control increase. And then the operative foregrip for the underbarrel. I've been really favoring this on a lot of my weapons. Helps out with recoil control. Cons is the ADS speed. However, you don't get any movement speed penalty with this op with this uh, underbarrel option. So it actually works out really, really well, and it's really good at mitigating recoil. Uh, I choose this over the commando for a lot of my a lot of my grips right now, especially over the ranger just because you don't get that movement speed penalty. So really good underbarrel option. If you haven't used it yet, I would definitely check it out. And then for... I would definitely check it out. And then for my other option here, I'll show you what Moo is using. Moo is going to be using a Meta Kilo. However, he's going to be replacing my the Integral Hybrid with the vlk optic here which is again typical meta build so we have the vlk option there besides what i was using on this weapon build it's not going to be loading there but you have the monolithic suppressor longest barrel the 19.8 inch prowler he's going to run the vlk instead of the integral hybrid 60 round magazine and the commando foregrip and then he's also going to be running the hdr sniper rifle um typical meta build setup there or the best in cl class for the most part mono suppressor longest barrel Attack laser, variable zoom for increased zoom, and then FTAC champion buttstock for the HDR. So that's what we're going to be running here. I'm going to be running Bale as my operator. So you can see he's looking really, really good with that. Odin or the Ash 12 build that we're running there. Go back to the weapon build. Now, this is a really good duo win. Again, like I said, 19 kills total. So let's go ahead and we'll jump in the game here for this. I'll walk you through this duo win. And again, this is one of Moo Man's craziest games. Just basically, he definitely saved my butt and had a lot of squad wipes. So let's go ahead now and we'll jump right into it. So here we go, starting the round here. And again, Moo hasn't played in a while, so he's trying to figure out how to drop me a weapon. <laughs> and you can see that's going pretty well at this point. So I only have a pistol, like really no ammo. He has two ARs, but... Uh, he can't figure out how to drop it, and I'm also kind of giving him the wrong... I'm telling him to use the wrong button, to be fair. But So that's how we spent the early part, and then he was able to drop me one. This is our first engagement here. There's a team that landed down here. Um, so we have high ground on them, and you can see uh, I've really never really used much of this weapon. But again, I'm out of ammo. I don't have any AR, so at this point I get beamed, and it's time to fall back at this point. So I'm going to fall back up the hill. I grabbed this king just because it's right there. Ended up being a really good move there. And then we're going to back off over to this, uh, I don't even know what this is, this mining machine here. So I'm the king, so we're going to take position up on top of this. And basically any team really needs to come to us. So this team's going to push us. Moo, again, is going to be up there and he's going to be spotting these guys for me. I'm having a really hard time navigating around this, this uh, piece of equipment here up on top to try and get eyes on. So Moo does a lot of this work here for the most part. 
spot this one guy. I'm going to try and tap fire after I did pick up a little bit of ammo, but again, I don't even have two full mags, so I do need to be careful. Go ahead and shoot. And uh, now I'm going to try and reposition because there's another guy approaching to our, uh, I believe, in northeast there. So I'm going to try and get up there. I ended up falling, so that's why I, I cut that part of the clip. And then at this part, I'm going to try and get back up. We completed the king. And you can see this one guy is just going to start shooting at me. So I end up breaking him right there. Really easy, really quick break. This gun, really high rate of fire. And then Mu ends up getting the down and the kill on that guy. So now there's just the one other guy left. So again, Mu is getting all the spots on this guy. I'm struggling to figure out how I need to get back up top here. So Mu's doing a lot of the work in this part. And I can hear the gunfire. I'm asking him where he is. He ends up being behind this wall. So... We have a really good maneuver here. Moo's going to just keep fire and cover and keep this guy busy. And I'm going to end up here deciding to parachute to his flank and just come around the back side of the fence while he's busy engaging Moo. So luckily he didn't hear my parachute or see me at all. And Moo's going to just keep fire on him. And you can see he's going to be firing back at Moo. And so at this point, I just have a really nice flank there. A guy had no idea. Able to get the easy kill. So... That worked out really well. Really good team play. That's kind of how you want to play a lot of situations, especially in duos like that. Um, now, fast forward, we get our loadout, and there was a few games here in a row with this new loadout situation where you can't buy it right off the bat. You need to wait for the free drop, and then you can buy it or get the free drop. So some games, it's really hard to get our loadout. I'm really not a fan of these World War II weapons, but we're able to get our loadout for the first game in a few here. And we pushed down to a buy station. We ended up getting our self reses, and we're just going to hang out for a little bit see what happens with the circle and you can see this ATV pulling up so at this point I'm going to try and get out of the building reposition not sure where they're going to be stopping if at all move down to one and then I just unload with the Odin I saw one guy in the back there and I end up getting that kill so go ahead and get him and then we're getting still getting shot at from up the hill here so there's another team up there Moo gets the the live ping there I'm going to just throw this grenade for good measure just to keep this guy kind of away from us so he doesn't push and now what we have there's a there's a SUV coming up we're on the buy station where we were. So we're just going to do a wide left uh, loop here and try and come up and around and engage this team. Since there's one team just pulled up on the buy station, we're hoping that these two are going to end up engaging each other and that he thinks that that team is us. And you can see there's a buy back there at the buy station. So he did buy. So he should be getting some of the attention. Um, and we're going to try and flank this team. So you can hear the gunshots. They're engaging. Moo's going to engage one guy, and I'm going to get this other guy with the Odin. We get a team wipe right there on that team. Now there's the team that just was at the buy station. So we got this team, and now there's the guy that bought and the guy that got bought back. So we're just trying to keep eyes around. And here in a second, Moo's going to, right here, he's engaged, starts engaging the guy that dropped in. And there's the kill. So that's a team wipe. So that, I think that might have actually been a completely different guy. Um... Don't know where that guy was so that i don't think was that was not the guy that got bought back because this guy ended up having a satchel and everything so not sure where this dude came from but he's not the guy that got bought back but there is a guy still down here that moves just pings so we're gonna go ahead and loop around and i think this is the guy that got bought back there's just so many people in this one small area he's gonna make a move for the buy station we're gonna engage i break him move gets it down on the kill and really well played right there that guy, I don't think, had any idea we were up there. He was trying to go probably and buy somebody or whatever. And then here we get engaged from the left side. So I think this is the guy that originally did the buyback. And I'm going to get broke. Replay, try and uh, re-engage. And again, he just has really good head, head glitch there. Going to engage me and, and hurt me again. So I'm going to try and get to a spot where I can get a similar head glitch. Yeah, we both have eyes on this rock where he is or was. And at this point, he's going to end up grabbing that SUV and moving because that wall's coming. So smart play by him. He gets away from us. We I don't think we end up seeing him again that I can't remember. Now we're moving up here, and we hear sniper shots. So there's two teams engaging. Here's the sniper on the hill. I'm going to start engaging this guy. Really hard visibility here with all the bushes, but I get the down. Move gets the cleanup. And now there's definitely a team up by this other SUV to our left. So I'm going to try and do a little bit of a wide, wide loop while Moo holds closer cover. I'm gonna cross I wanna cross the road here, try and get up top. Can't make that jump there. Moo engages one, downs him. And now there's one more over here. I can see his head there in the gas. And again, get him with the Odin. Good team team wipe right there. So we end up doing another team wipe. That's I think like three or four team wipes already. So moving forward here, I'm looking down here in this quarry area for that guy that was in the Jeep. 
And then I end up getting beamed from some guy mounting a tree there. Really hard to see him. I only saw him when I ended up watching his back. So I'm going to burn myself. Moo's going to give me some cover, keep this guy busy. He ends up uh, stunning the guy. And you can see right here, you hear the gunfire going back and forth. Moo gets the kill and the team wipe on this guy. But I'm going to start moving up. And now Moo's taking fire from another guy. So this is a completely separate team. He downs Moo. He starts to push. I get the break. And now I'm going to reload the Odin here. He started falling back. So Moo can get up with that self-res. Moo ended up having eyes on him where I, I really had that hill was kind of in the way in the bushes. So Moo gets the kill. And again, another team wipe. So again, moving forward, now we need to go down to the nearest buy station and get more self-res since we both just burned ours in that last engagement. So moving forward here, I'm a little bit in front of Moo. Keeping eyes around, just trying to look. And here's a guy on the buy station. So I have the AK here. Go ahead. I get the break. I have a frag grenade. I'm going to throw that. Come around the corner with the Odin. And I get the down and the kill. Now, there's another guy right on my left. So I'm going to call out to Moo. There's a guy on me. And I'm going to try and run around here while I'm plating. Come around the corner. And Moo ends up, again, getting a down and a kill. So Moo's just going ham right now. Killing people left and right. Uh, I think he has, like, eight or nine kills at this point right now. So he's getting a lot of kills right now, just going crazy. So fast forward, we're moving up. I have two guys on Heartbeat, and they end up being right underneath here in this cave. I thought they were on top, so I'm going to end up, we're going to pivot, go around here, and we're going to end up going to get up top above them. I don't want to take that fight if they're, they're locked down in there. So we go ahead and get up top. We're just going to wait out these circles. Everyone else is across from us. Moo gets a down here. He snipes this guy, and he's going to end up get, getting the cleanup. I was going to drop this cluster strike, but... Moo ends up getting him right there with that last snipe. So Moo had a really nice snipe there. Another another really good kill from Moo. You can see these guys also are still below us in the cave. Now this guy across the way, shooting at Moo. He's yelling at me for help. So I'm going to get some shots on, on that target and drop the cluster just to keep him busy. So he has to move. Can't focus on fire anymore on Moo since we're a little bit exposed up here. Especially where Moo is. Now there's this team below us. So I'm going to try and parachute across the way here and maintain high ground in some sort of cover. So I'm going to go first, and then Moo's going to come after me. These guys focus all their fire on me. And here, Moo's going to jump down. And he ends up getting the one down, one kill, one down, one kill, and the team wipe. So he just took out both these guys. Another team wipe by Moo. Just saving my butt again there. Really crazy play that he just, like, jumped down in front of them while they are both shooting me and ended up getting them both in the head and uh, getting those kills. So moving up here, there's two more teams. I have this guy in heartbeat. There he is up top. I end up shooting a little bit prematurely, maybe. Going to throw that grenade and uh, try and find out where this guy's going. I'm, not, I'm trying not to be super aggressive because Moo's not right there with me. So he's going to throw, I think, a stun up there just for good measure. And I'm trying to see where this guy is. You can see he's still on my heartbeat. And I hear him coughing. So it seems like he's in the gas. He's trying to do some gas move. Maybe he's stuck. Not sure what he's doing there, but he just died. So he just died in the gas, and I heard him coughing, and he I don't know what he was trying to do, but he didn't make it. So now it's 2v1 at this point, and Moo, unfortunately, is going to get stuck down there. A lot of these rocks are very difficult to get up. You can see me struggling to get up top here. I need to get high ground to try and see where this last guy is. We know he's somewhere in front of me here on the west, and there I can pick him up on the heartbeat. So I have him about 34 meters in front of me, I believe it was, something like that. And again, just trying to get up top here, which is a, a huge challenge for me. A lot of these rocks are not easy to climb up. Moo is getting stuck in the gas right now, so he's going to end up going down there in a second. You see this guy across from me, and I, we both see each other at the same time. And uh, I broke him, but he's got those fire rounds and did a lot of damage to me. And ended up downing me. Thankfully, I had the gas mask here. You can see my health is going to regenerate right as my gas mask breaks. Otherwise, I would have been dead here. So very, very close. I'm going to come in. I'm going to plate. Moo is down. So he's out of the fight. You can see he's stuck back there. And then just a crazy finish here. So I connected with that last headshot to get the kill. He he, he thankfully did not even break my armor. But he <laughs> I was a little worried there because um, I had the wrong weapon. I really needed the AK out. I wasn't expecting this guy to be this close to me for this engagement. I thought he was going to be a little further out in the distance. And I could just kind of get a nice angle and get him as he's moving in with the gas. But he ended up being right there. Thank God I ended up getting that last headshot with the Odin. Not the gun I wanted for close quarters with that optic. But you can see there, 12 kills for Moo, 7 by me. We had a 19 kill win. 
really, really good duo win. This is our first duo win in many, 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 many months. Um, probably since the original Verdansk map, easily. We haven't been playing, we haven't played duos together in a very long time. So this is our first duo win. Really good game. Probably one of our best duo wins, to be honest. Um, Moo went ham right there. Really good game. And again, the Odin and the uh, AK was a lot of fun to use. Really good combo for uh, for Caldera. And Moo with the Kilo and the HDR. Showing the Kilo is still an animal. Just team wiping. I think he team wiped like four or five teams. It was insane. So let me know what you guys think. Big welcome back to Moo Man. Until next time, this is Buffner Gaming. Out.